Here we have another example of finding the slope of a line. Uh, we have two points, 4, 7, and 1, 2. And we need to find the rise over the run to understand what the slope m is going to be. So let's take a look first at the rise. We're going to go from 2, which is the y-coordinate here, up to 7, which is the y-coordinate there. So we're going up 5, so our rise here is 5. And then our run is going from 1 over to 4, so our run is 3. So our slope then is 5 thirds, m equals 5 thirds. Notice that you can actually go the other way. It doesn't really matter which point you start at, as long as you use that point for your first coordinate for x and for y and don't start here on x and here on y or something, but if we were to start at this point up here, then our rise would be a negative. We would rise negative five points, and our run then would be negative, negative three points, and negative five divided by negative three is still the same, five over three, since a negative divided by a negative is a positive. Identifying the slope of a line is an extremely important lesson. You're going to see this again and again and again. So if you don't understand it the first time you go through, please, for your own sake, go back and redo it to make sure that it's really, really clear to you before you move on. Um, so let's just take a look at these three examples here and see how it goes. Um, our first line here, A, has two points, 3, 8, and 1, 4. What we need to do is find the slope. The slope is usually designated with the letter M, and it's defined as the rise over the run. And what that means is we figure how much the two points change from one to the other on the y-axis, or how much up-down there is, and sometimes that's written as delta y. Delta means change in. So we have change in y, so up-down, and oh, that's divided by change in x, so change left to right, delta x. We can figure that. We just take it one piece at a time. First we say we're starting from an x-coordinate of 1, and we're moving over to an x-coordinate of 3. So for our first line here, our change in x is 1 to 3, or 2. And our change in y is 4 up to 8, so our change in y is 4. We reduce that, and we get an m of 2. 4 divided by 2 is 2. So then for our second line, b, we're going from the point 4, 4 to the point 8, 8. So our change in x, our run, is 4. And our rise is also 4. Our change in y is 4. So we have 4 over 4, which reduces to give us an m of 1. And then our last line, c, we're going from the point 4, 1 to the point 8, 3. So our change in x, our run, is going to be 4. And our change in y, or our rise, is going to be 2. Reduce 2 over 4 gives us an m of 1 half.